Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your builds. Now, of course, I can't do these videos without showing you the phenomenal, my favorite, Mag Prime. Sexy is out for one of my very, very favorite and absolutely devastating damage. My one of my top used frames of all. All right, well, let's get into it. All right, so of course you'll see seven somewhere. That's because I've adjusted it, and tweaked it in many different ways. Uh, you don't need that whatsoever. As you see, I have nine capacity, not needed. Uh, for this is the map nuker build, spamming it using the generic lens for five energy per second, and just a little cherry on the top to get even more energy, especially when you're going absolutely bonkers with casting it, and your generic can't keep up, and you do run out energized to top it off now the difference between this the revision has auger secrets to give you even more damage of course if you don't have the arcane helmet which i highly recommend getting if you can because it gives you another 25 percent range of course they're vaulted you can't get them anymore so which means the only way to get them is through trade chat so it might run you around 200 to 250 at the current time of course that can always go up uh, and it depends also on console and pc prices are a little varied might be able to get it a little cheaper on console and you can get it on pc uh, sometimes it's all the way around just depends on the day yeah and the players you run into all right so we also have the armor stripper build, crazy duration, crazy strength, and counter pulse. So whatever enemies you don't absolutely just murder with that first cast, get locked. The they get their weapons jammed, so they can't shoot you. They have to run in on you and do melee. It's your speed tanking. You don't have any tank mods whatsoever, so that's gonna make it really easy to evade their damage and the robotics are just going to lock up right there on the spot so pretty nice to have that on the polarized build armor stripper build as well do not use this infested it will do nothing <laughs> because they have no armor and no shields this only affects armor and shields so the void you'll have infested doing nothing there but the other two-thirds are Grenier and Corpus, so that'll take care of them. Or if you're just on a Grenier or Corpus mission, of course, that'll work great. Now, of course, you're running up against a boss, so say like the uh, Atlas boss, the one just before the uh, archering mode, is the Behemoth Juggernaut. This is great for that. So you cast your third ability strip its armor because it does have armor for that that's one of the infested it happens to have armor and then you cast the second ability polarize which any shots put into them do even more damage amps it up now fire into him when he jumps up on his hind legs and you one shot him with a lot of weapons like tigris and stuff and of course because I had a little bit extra room, uh, I threw on redirection for some extra tanks, especially, you know, at that higher level, uh, it's pretty easy to go down, especially you're racing through it, um, and barrier, just because you got lots of shields, and uh, other ones don't help quite as much. Infested Impedance, it's nice for the Atlas mission, because if you don't have a Nova, him slowing down will help you get a shot on his belly because he goes up and down really quick without a slow nova. All right, well, let's get into it. Show the map nuker build just in case for those of you that haven't seen it and how devastating its damage is. My favorite mission to uh, test it out in is Hydron. Not too big of a map and get some crazy affinity. Not like old school Draco levels, but pretty darn good and of course mag this particular build is phenomenal against infest or um Grenier on hydron here just devastates it if you're going to go infested 
you you want to you probably want to adjust the build because that duration prime continuity helps you almost nothing in infested i mean yeah with your magnetize if you're using it so if you're going against um harder targets in there you might want to keep it on but if you're just trying to map nuke it and you don't care about harder targets and deal with them then um Yanking that off and putting either more range or more strength on it would be helpful and make you do even more damage Especially if you're trying to compete with uh, another high damage frame against infested That'll give you a little edge as well All right Wait begins bam throw out the generic lens get that five energy per second going Polarize first, strip the armor, do some decent damage, and then magnetize to finish them off. And you see, it does some crazy damage. Just absolutely crazy damage. Love this frame. Uh, as you see there's an ember in here. He is not going to be able to compete whatsoever. Before he could kind of compete. Maybe he'd do a quarter of the damage mag, if that, in a 5 or 20 wave. Now it's substantially less if you if they kept the same build. If you go on the other hand and go with some crazy range like 280%, which is what I do, then you'll be able to keep up a lot better. Probably in another video at a later point, I'll go and post that build as well and show a demo of that. All right, okay. talking and stuff, not paying attention, ran out of energy. See if we can grab an orb, top off the tank, no energy, energizer proc from that, no energizer proc, huh, boom, there we go, that, that procced, you hear a little noise whenever energizer procs too. Oh, looks like they're leveling up, one leveling, one not. Now, Magnetize works a little bit differently than the Nova's ability. Yeah, it centralizes its cast based on where Mag is, not where you're aiming. So it's not like uh, Limbo, where you point and that's where it casts from. Uh, but it's also, it's not like um, Nova, where it starts emanating right from where you're at. It's actually based on range and duration. Kind of like Gara's Glass Shield. Both of those abilities determine where it starts, is the range, and then how long it continues out from there is based on the duration. That's why with one of the Gara tests we were able to get the, uh, the glass wall out to I think like 250 meters out. Yeah, it was absolutely crazy the range you can get on that. Of course, that was before the rework when it was invincible and it didn't matter the strength. So it was still actually vaguely useful, pretty much only on the planes or in an interception mission, but now that's almost not useful whatsoever. It's more for just shits and grins. <laughs> Alright, and so that was Mag. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and let's see the end results before we head off. It's always good to see some serious numbers when you're going for a mass map nuking build. Wow, yeah, they left so it didn't show the 
true stats. At least I don't think so. Uh, who knows? But well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, keep them pumas cooking.